Hey guys, Drifter here. Call of Duty World War II dropped its story trailer today, and I gotta admit that I was surprised by some of the more thematic elements in it. So I wanted to do a reactions, thoughts, opinions video on it, and kind of a minor breakdown and share some stuff about it with you today. The short version of the story is that you and your squad fight through Nazi-occupied Europe, and given the variousness locations, it seems like most of the major battles are represented, including the Battle of the Bulge. At some point, your squad members or you, the character want to go off on a mission for personal reasons. You want to do something on your own that's against command, and that's kind of the central crux of the story. Also, at some point, squad members are captured and become POWs, and it appears that at least one of them gets sent to a concentration camp, which to me was very shocking, and I assume is the reason for the other squad mates to want to go off for a mission. That was just very, very surprising to me. There's some quick hits you can see from it. It's definitely 100% in-game engine in this particular scene. The rest of it's a little more CGI, but this is guaranteed in-game engine. It just has that Call of Duty look to it. You get your first look at the female French resistance fighter, the female soldiers that kind of got the community in a wad recently. She's hiding. She's hiding from an SS officer inside of a confessional booth at a Catholic church. There's a brief tease of the flamethrowers in campaign and a few grisly reminders of the cost of war. Perhaps more importantly to the community is that swastikas are back and historical accuracy has returned. Unless, of course, you're watching from Germany, in which case all the swastikas are banned and replaced with iron crosses as if they're that much less offensive. Graphically speaking, the cutscenes look fantastic. Better than normal for COD? Maybe the best COD has ever looked, relative to the ages, of course. There do seem to be a lot more cutscenes than normal engine, though. A lot of times, Call of Duty games, the story is told through the base engine without a lot of CGI rendered cutscenes. It's just the normal characters doing their thing, the models rigged and animated and whatnot, and it does a lot of first-person storytelling, a la Half-Life. However, this trailer was very, very big, dramatic, cinematic moments, and I kind of got the feeling that Sledgehammer is going for like a cinematic World War II movie feel here, kind of like Dunkirk or something like that, instead of the traditional first-person narrative. And I am surprised and glad that Sledgehammer had the balls to include the concentration camp scenes and the Nazi officers hunting Jew scenes. That is something I did not expect to see. In our politically correct culture, even mentioning the horrors of the past is offensive to some people, and God forbid some people get offended at Nazis. God forbid some people get their feelings hurt. But the community has kind of been in an uproar about swastikas and historical accuracy and about how Nazis are bad guys and they deserve to be portrayed bad. And I was kind of afraid it was going to get glossed over, it was going to be like a background thing. But they went ahead and manned up and put it in here so you actually get bad guy Nazis in concentration camps. And if any of the indication is correct, it looks like we're going to get like a concentration camp level or maybe two of them. Or that's going to be your first person narrative experience. I was very surprised to see it playing as such of a major plot point as it does here in the trailer. Even in our movies, which can be R-rated or worse, are typically not so big on that. It's just such an uncomfortable part of history that a lot of people want to gloss over it. I do hope, however, that whatever is included doesn't become some sort of stupid meme, like press F to pay respects, which honestly was quite funny. This one you could recontextualize with other people and faces and groups and things like that, and it could be well, wildly inappropriate. Guys, that's all my thoughts for the story trailer today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe.